starting my day out here in the car. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Just starting out my day a little bit on the later side. I woke up earlier today, took the dogs out, had some coffee, edited and exported, uploaded day 21, and now I'm actually headed over to brunch at this place that was recommended from my friend Mickey uh, called West Hill Deli. Apparently it's just a 10 minute drive from where I live and I don't know if it's a new cafe but it's a place that has uh, that is owned by Filipinos, one, two, they are, they have Filipino food, including ube pancakes. Going to go try them out. It, they were actually rated pretty high on Google, like 4.9 out of 5, which is a really high score. But gonna do that, and then if you guys remembered from like two or three vlogs ago where I was talking about this white Casaluna Target pillow that I had been looking for for two years. Um, I tried placing an order yesterday online to pick up from one Target location and it turned out that they didn't have it. And now I put another one at another location down south of Seattle uh, at this place called Puyallup. And um, it's ready for me to pick up, really excited. So I'm gonna try doing that there. To I still need to get one last Christmas gift. Hopefully after that, I will be at a good place to uh, start gift wrapping. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I am typically a travel vlogger, currently doing Vlogmas where I vlog every day until Christmas. And we are in day 22. We are at the final stretch, so excited. Thanks so much for following along. And I will see you guys at brunch. I'm really hungry right now. Okay, just getting here right now. It's right behind me. Um, the place is kind of situated at a, like a, business plaza center, kind of out of the way, a little bit discreet, but uh, love hidden gems, let's go eat. So I don't know if you guys could hear me because I'm trying to talk as loud as I can so that I don't get demonetized with the background music here, but. This is such a hidden gem, like looking at the menu, they have a lot of Filipino classics, like they have langanisa and garlic rice, they have tocino, they have uh, ube pancake, ube uh, french toast, they have halo halo, they have French uh, Spanish bread, they have a lot of the things as well as like hot, like the pork belly, like the lunch type of food. So really excited to try this out. Not sure, you know, hopefully it's gonna be good, but um, I will check back in with you. One thing, two, you can't take me anywhere nice. I have um, ube on my elbow because I am a slob and can't eat correctly. And someone's looking at me now. Okay, wow, just got back to my car. That was really good. Um, I ordered a lot of food and I think the lady that was working there was kind of like, oh, two dishes, a side dish, and a coffee for you. <laughs> uh, but, the tocino that I had was cooked so perfectly and it tasted so good. The outside was nice and crispy and had the extra like coating of that, uh, like, you know when it's crispy in the outer, has that little charred edge, so good. The garlic rice was really good. Um, the ube pancakes, you get like three and you not only get like, instead of the syrup, you got the ube 
syrup. Well, not the, you don't get maple syrup, you get ube syrup. And then a, an ube halaya, which is like a jam. And all of that together, it did surprisingly didn't taste too overpowering. It was just right and perfect for the coffee. Um, and they also had Spanish bread which was really good. If you are ever in the Auburn area, definitely check them out for some brunch. I did notice that there also are a lot of different types of Filipino food there as well. Um, they do have a pork belly Benedict, which, ooh, that sounds really good actually. But they also had um, other desserts like they had halo halo, they had uh, different types of ice cream. They had an ube matcha, an ube magnolia swirl. They had pandan. They had all of these different flavors. So, um, yeah, really, really, really good. I'm gonna head down to Puyallup to go pick up my pillow. So, just got here to Target, and literally, it is a few days before Christmas and it is so hard to find a parking spot in this parking lot. So instead, I decided to park in one of the drive up parking spots where they just, you know, take your item to your car because it's literally one of the only parking spots available. Um, because I purchased it, my pillow on the app, and I was going, I already paid for it and was just gonna pick it up. Um, you can actually revert it from pick up in store to pick up via drive up. This is just kind of the solution I have right now for not being able to find a parking spot. <laughs> but I really hope that they get the correct pillow and it's not like the cream because comparatively we want the white, not the cream. Okay, that was easy. She literally just drove up, um, came up, asked for the little barcode or the, the four digit and then I gave it to her and she just placed it in my trunk and it's the right color so gonna go head out that was really nice and fast I might head to like a TJ Maxx nearby I still need to buy one more gift and uh, been having a hard time looking for it so okay there is a TJ Maxx nearby going to head inside to see if I can find what I need oh my gosh things are looking really sparse here at TJ Maxx like empty shelves <laughs> I don't think I can find what I need here. Okay, TJ Maxx, round two. Decided to go to the one closer to home. Hopefully it's not gonna be just as sparse as the one in Puyallup. Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like it's a well-stocked here and I think I have the item that I need. So I'm gonna pay now. Okay, just getting back to the car. Um, so funny, when I reached the cash register, the cashier said, you look really familiar. Do you have a YouTube? And I'm like, I do. And he's like, I thought at first I thought maybe he might have seen any some, one of my videos. And um, he's like, I think you look so familiar. Like, you, I've definitely seen you before. And I'm like, oh. And I'm wondering if it would have would have been the video um, with Kara and Nate where they visited Seattle and I was part of the vlog like showing them around because that video that they posted I don't know how many views it has at, at least like over 500,000 views um I have had coworkers family members friends distant you know friends that I haven't talked to in, in so long and even strangers come up to me saying that they've seen me in that video which is really cool to see like the reach that Kara and Nate have but uh yeah hi Patrick if you're watching or if you find it but um I didn't tell him that I was doing uh you know vlogging today but got my last gift thank god now, I actually have to run and get a haircut. I have a haircut scheduled for 2 p.m. It is about 1 p.m. right now, and it might take me over 30 minutes to get to Seattle from where I am at. So, I will see you. Actually, it's kind of crazy because you will have seen two haircuts from me within Vlogmas, because I do get my haircut every like three weeks, and we are reaching about that point right now. Just got here, about to get a haircut. Okay, I just got done with my haircut. Decided just to do the short sides. And uh, it's raining a lot. Should have brought a, an umbrella, but you know, I wouldn't be from Seattle if I used an umbrella. But I also should have brought a rain jacket. Okay. 
just got home. Hi, dogs. Oh, they're so excited. Look at her tail. Piggy, hi. Anyways, I'm gonna settle in. Oh, <laughs> the sound, the sounds. Hi, Piggy. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap gifts later today. Finally home and thought I would put both of these large Casa Luna linen pillows in place of the gray ones that are right there. Let's see how it looks like. Oh my gosh, yes. That just looks, I don't know, for me, it just looks much more cleaner. Like if I took out that um, lumbar pillow, it just looks, it just looks like a hotel. And that is my inspiration with like my bed. Just to be, it be crisp and white and just so comfy. So excited. Right now, I am uh, wrapping gifts. There is Daisy. We have Pumpkin right over there. And I think Kiki's right over there. And we're watching uh, Single All The Way on Netflix, which is like a gay Christmas rom-com movie. Yeah. So I would say I am 90% done with wrapping gifts. The only thing that I need to do is wrap um, Jason and Jessica's gift. And I also need to put labels on them. And I think Jessica's gonna uh, create some labels for me to put on the gifts. I thought Daisy farted. But um, yeah, that's, that's that. Oh my gosh, so if you guys remember Vlogmas Day 2, we went to this um, Carpenito Brothers to get some poinsettias and look how sad that poinsettia is. I think it's because when I was gone in London, um, I turned off the heater, of course, in my room because I'm not here and poinsettias thrive in more humid heat. So. Whoops, gonna take a shower. I actually am just going to chill for the rest of the night. We ordered DoorDash, some Thai food, because I'm just lazy. I just don't, I'm just lazy. So one of you also just did my skincare. That's why I'm looking a little bit glossy right now, but um, somebody asked for more Jessica today. <laughs> Here she is being um, the craft person and making my tags. Let me show you guys. Can you explain what this is? This is a cooking machine. It's a cutting machine basically, but it can also draw things. So it's drawing a, a couple trees and a two and from Jeb. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm Jeb. I don't know. Maybe a few of you guys have heard. I don't know. I, I think it, it gets like interchanged. Or it gets like kind of spoken out here and there, but yeah, it's really cool. It's the cricket. Okay, got our food. Got um, basil fried rice, crispy garlic chicken, and chicken petsu. All of this is either one or zero stars. The spiciness. I know, I know. <laughs> Day 22 of Vlogmas. It's a white wine. Another Chardonnay. Um, it's funny, the other day when I had a Chardonnay, um, I assumed that maybe you didn't have to chill it, but you have to chill other white wines. But afterwards I realized, yes, you do have to chill a Chardonnay. Um, but I'm lazy, so we're just gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna drink this, try it out uh, first. It's a Chardonnay from Spain. It's not as yellow as other Chardonnays. Has a little bit of a spiciness and sweetness to it, but not bitter. I actually really like this one. I think this actually would be really good chilled, um, funnily enough. Yum. Thank you so much for watching day 22 of Vlogmas. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 23. We have a Christmas party thing that we are um, I'm gonna have a phone call, one sec. 
Yeah, sure. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. I was just, <laughs> I was just uh, ending my vlog, so that was all see. She's dropping off baked goods. See you guys tomorrow for day 23. We have like a family get together on the 24th, so gotta gather some stuff to make. We might be making some Filipino dessert. Still trying to decide that, but you'll have to figure out, uh, find out until tomorrow's vlog. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh my gosh, so I lied. <laughs> The vlog's not over. Um, Elsie did stop by and I have to show you guys what she made. She made a whole tin full of baked goods of things that she made. So we got some, I believe, pecan tarts, molasses cookies, and shortbread. Oh, love it. Anyways, this is the end of the vlog for real. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.